I want to share with you the progress I've made replacing the original BLDC spindle motor on the small CNC retrofit with an AC servo motor. I'm doing this work because I haven't seen many people use AC servos on small CNC retrofits and if nothing else we'll learn together if it's a good idea. And also because I want to collect performance information from the spindle motor, record it and integrate it more tightly into Linux CNC. As work progresses, I'll continue to share what I discover, so be sure to subscribe and come back soon. Last time I replaced the stock BLDC spindle motor on a Precision Matthews 25 milli machine with a 750 watt AC servo from Dynamic Motor Motion. To mount the servo temporarily, I used 3D printed ABS parts with 20% infill and cut threads. These may seem like weak parts, but despite being remounted a few times, the setup handled milling the permanent aluminum motor mount well where many of the operations required 500 watt or nearly three quarter horsepower with spikes up to one kilowatt. In an emergency such as an unexpected spindle motor failure or simply bootstrapping a new CNC machine, 3D printed motor mounts seem usable. Ultimately, metal parts are preferred. Metal parts are good conductors of heat and electricity for grounding, and the scary torque of the AC servo could tear printed parts apart. Compared to the original BLDC motor where the spindle could be easily stopped at 500 RPM with the stock BLDC drive and at 1000 RPM with the higher speed Anaheim automation drive, the AC servo is difficult to stop at 5 RPM. At 2 RPM, a quick counter rotation caused the fault, but this could probably be overcome with tuning the servo loop for faster response. You might notice the current meter in the background surging slightly as the drive attempts to restore position. Since the encoder feedback is passed through to Linux CNC, the spindle position is always known within the backlash air of the spindle, making synchronized moves possible, including rigid tapping. While the AC servo faults quicker than the original BLDC drive in an overpower situation, this protects the servo drive. Power is related to the square of the current, so overdriving any motor will likely reduce the life of the motor drive. The servo makes up for this possible shortcoming with constant torque, helping to maintain speed, which improves surface finish. The speed of the stock BLDC motor often sags and surges varying tool load. This part was finished at two speeds, with this side representative of what I've come to expect. And this side with a nicer finish I've not seen before. With greater consistency delivered from the spindle, it will be easier to develop CAM programs. The features of the metal parts are identical to the printed parts, and both are inspired by the original BLDC motor mount, including the privet action about a bushing to tension the belt. Because of the slightly larger frame of the AC servo, the original motor mounts could not be modified. I'm using the original multi-V belt and modified pulleys. The stock pulleys require a spacer to raise the motor mount. Once the timing belt and pulleys are installed, the spacer will be removed. The rattling noise was present with the stock spindle motor and seems to be downstream of the motor, but the total noise can be reduced. Removing the bottom half of the spindle narrows down sources of noise. At multiples of 900 RPM, the AC servo vibrated, possibly within the brake. Loosening all of the screws helped. The printed parts were soft and conformed to the metal surfaces. Tightening the screws into the thick metal mounts distorted the motor. The greatest distortion may have been from the upper plate. I sanded the motor mounts flat, removing less than 5 one hundredths of a millimeter, so the parts were already pretty flat, and exchanged the metal washers with a wooden spacer. The wood conforms and provides some vibration isolation while screws maintain electrical conductivity. The servo motor has an optional brake and power must be supplied to the brake before the motor will turn freely. The servo is still sensitive to bolt torque, but the tweaks helped a lot. Before. 
and after. Now I'll reinstall the bottom half of the spindle. without spindle. With spindle. And at 4100 RPM. The sound level at 4100 RPM is similar to the stock motor at 2600 RPM recorded in a June 2016 video. Also promising is when changing direction the servo immediately changes direction. Here is an M3 to M4 sequence. And here is an M3 to M5 to M4 sequence. This means synchronized motions including rigid tapping should work well. Next are highlights of the parts being machined powered by the DMM AC servo motor held in place with 3D printed parts. It's pretty wild that the 3D printed parts held up to be used. Let me know if you have any questions or suggestions. Hit the like button and share the video with someone with similar interests. Your support with all the projects is greatly appreciated. See you again soon.